Okay, welcome back. Um, next up we have vertices. And vertices are obviously these little points here. And we can move them individually in vertex mode, so that's V. And we can select them as we did, you know, um, just dragging an area and so on. So to move them is the same as for everything else. We hit T or G to begin translating. And then we move the mouse and we use the left mouse button to set the new position. <coughs> and rotation is the same. We can rotate around the average position of the vertices or if we hit R again around the cursor scaling is the same as well. So all of those things are the same. Um, so let's just look at a few things that are specific to vertices because there are a few things that are specific to vertices here. And one thing you may have noticed just now when we were moving these vertices around, we had red lines showing briefly. Uh, and what that means is that the shape as a whole uh, by which I mean this overall vertex list going around like this around the outside is self-intersecting. So it's crossing over itself at some point and that's bad. Uh, in this case we are having a polygon shape that we are setting the vertices for and polygon shape cannot be constructed if it has self-intersecting vertices like this. So if I move this vertex over here and I set the new position, we'll notice that the interior of the polygon has now basically been invalidated. Uh, and these lines remain red even when we're not translating anymore. So this lets us know that there's a problem there. And we can fix a problem like that. So we will see this problem when we're trying to create uh, polygon shapes and also loop shapes will be the same so if I do the same thing here and for line shapes it will be a problem as well except it will not be a problem for this last piece because that doesn't actually exist in a line shape. I mean it's still there. You can see when we mouse over this vertex that the fact that these two vertex vertices here are sequential in the list is obvious but it doesn't matter um, until we cross over the line like that. Uh, so <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter if this line, it's a little bit hard to mouse over this at the same time, but you can see we have a line between this vertex and that vertex and it crosses over at these points here but that's okay because we, we, we're not going to be constructing an edge fixture there when we export this data. Whereas if we change, if we change this fixture back to a loop now we have a problem. So that, that's a better illustration there isn't it? Polygon, alright. Okay, so we can move vertices around like that. Um, what else can we do? We can delete vertices. So deleting this vertex, we'll chop that up, chop that point out. Uh, we can de delete a whole bunch of vertices together like this, and we can undo deletions like that. Uh, that's all pretty straightforward. Um, there's just one point to note that you can't just keep deleting vertices forever and still have a fixture because let's see now we have a four-sided polygon now we have a triangle now we're trying to make a polygon out of this but if we delete one more vertex here now we only have two vertices and we can't make a polygon from that so what we will see is that let me just set this up here we will select that fixture and we'll also show 
Okay, so we can see we had some messages here just warning us that the polygon de decomposition was um, impossible for self-intersecting fixtures here. So if I go back to vertex mode and I select this vertex here and delete it, we'll see another warning here telling us that the shape type has been forced to line for this fixture because if we go back to fixture mode and select this, now we can see this has been forced to line. We didn't set that like that, but it has to be, it, it can't be a polygon anymore because there's only two vertices. And if we go one more step and we delete one more vertex, then we'll only have one vertex left, right? And what happens then is we get forced into using a circle shape because that's the only kind of shape that can exist with just one vertex. So if I go back to vertex mode and I delete this one, now we'll see another warning message uh, saying that the shape radius has been set to 0 0.5 because we had it at 0 before and you can't have a 0 radius circle. So it's done two things here. It's if we go back to fi fixture mode, we'll see it's changed the fixed uh, shape type to circle, and it's also made the radius non-zero. If it, if we already had a non-zero radius, it would not have changed it, but it was zero, so it has to set it to some value, and 0 0.5 is the default for this. So that's just something to note when you're deleting vertices. You can't just keep deleting them. Oh, and if we if we do keep deleting them, so I'll select the the last remaining vertex there. And if I delete that, what happens is this fixture itself gets deleted. So this is equivalent to, uh, let me just undo that. If I had have selected this fixture, the fixture as a whole and deleted it, uh, I get the same result because if there's zero vertices, well, there's no nothing to make a fixture from. Okay. Um, so oh, we don't have much left here, do we? Let's go back to what we had before. Uh, let's go. Let's go right back to the beginning. Oops, too far. Um, <coughs> something I didn't mention, I uh, should have mentioned in the first video, is that you can also do this here: reopen scene, uh, and that will reload the the scene from from disk if you don't want to do a whole lot of undeleting like that. Okay, so um, that's moving vertices, which is great. We can move, rotate, and so on. Um, but what we really want to do is more customization than that. Um, so how do we get this shape to begin with? Because as we saw in the last video, the only kind of fixtures we can create from this menu is circles, squares, and... Um, equal sided polygons and edges. So to get more vertices into an existing fixture we have two options. Uh, one is to add a new vertex along an existing edge and the other option is to just sort of draw in a bunch of vertices as, as we go like freehand kind of style. So Let's start with the simplest one first, and we go into this mode. As we can see here, we're in vertex mode because we can see the solid dots at the corners of the fixture. And if I hit E, uh, E stands for edge in this case, now we can see that the, uh, the little markers for the vertices have turned into hollow dots. So now I'm in um, edge editing mode. If I hit escape, I can get out of this mode. So it's E to enter this mode and escape to exit. So E. Now, another thing that happens when I'm in this mode is that we'll see when the mouse gets close to an edge of the polygon, we'll see another hollow dot here. And this shows us where the new vertex will be added when we click the left mouse button. So let's click the left mouse button here. So we can see there's a new vertex there now. And I'll do that a few more times like this. 
okay and we've seen some more polygon decomposition was necessary there now I can hit E to go back to my normal vertex mode and I can select these let's say I want to make a bumpy surface here I can select these three and I can move them out like that so that's an example of adding edges along and uh, sorry adding vertices along an existing edge so that's E one time to do that now if we hit E twice we can enter a slightly different mode where we can add vertices continuously in any old position where we use where we click the mouse so let's start um, I'm just gonna rotate this around so that we can come in here okay so the next mode that we can do uh, the next mode that we can use to add vertices to an existing fixture is accessed by hitting E a second time and to do this we first need to have a vertex selected to be the start position so I'm going to select this vertex at the bottom so that's my start position and then I'm going to hit E once and that would put us in the mode where we add vertices along an edge and then I hit E again. Now we can see this um, dashed line has attached itself to the mouse connecting the vertex that we started from and the next vertex in the fixture. That means that when I click the mouse somewhere here I'm going to add an edge or a vertex rather to this fixture at the position where I click. So I can click uh, let me click over here like that and then I'm still in this mode so I can continuously go around drawing vertices and so I click again here and one more time like this and notice that we are moving away from the position that we started in so I'm heading towards the right hand side here and to get out of this mode we can hit escape and that brings us back to the normal vertex selection mode like this so that's E one time we we're in edge uh, adding along existing edges E a second time will put us in this mode where we can draw going that direction and then if we actually wanted to add over this way we can hit E a third time, so this is three times we're hitting E now and that will bring us to uh, it's the same mode but we're just going in a different direction here so now we can see by the dashed lines that we are going to be adding a vertex between these two vertices and this time we're going to be heading away from the starting vertex and we're going to be heading left so I can add vertices in here like this and let me just undo that so that's E three times and then I can add in this going in this direction so as you add vertices um, you can cut into the existing fixture like this that's no trouble and you can even create them so that they are self intersecting as long as you come back to a point later on that is not self-intersecting like this so you can create um, crazy shapes like this and this is quite nice for drawing contours around existing images um, like ground and just whatever kind of images you want to bring into your uh, scene so um, yeah and actually I think if you hit E again yeah you can cycle you can just keep hitting E to cycle between these three modes and just keep an eye out for the hollow dots markers or these dashed lines to 
give you a visual cue as to exactly what you're going to be doing when you click the left mouse button and at any time of course you can hit the escape key to quit out of that mode so um, what is that? Mm, it's a funny looking thing um, as an example here I've found that as I've been using this program in the last few months um, one of the most common things that I do with this adding vertices mode is to add or to create a shape to match an image so just as a quick example what I mean by that is um, we come in here and I'll just drop this PNG file onto here we'll look at how to use images a little bit more later but a common thing to do I've found is that I have something like this and I want to make a physics body for it so I would put the cursor say hereish and spacebar to access the action menu then I would add a body with a square fixture I usually go for to start with and then I'll put the vertices here and then I'll end up with something like this which is you know not not the <laughs> finished product of course and then from this point or this point say I can hit E twice uh, no three times and then I can just draw my shape around here like this and I don't care if it's concave or convex or whatever and then I'll get to here hit escape uh, come over here hit E again one two three so this is now we can just keep drawing don't worry about that red line for now you come over here and then over here and maybe one more there and then we're done so so that's how we could create a nice fixture to match an already existing image okay I hope that's not too complicated and that's going to do it for editing vertices and see you in the next video bye